Hello everyone, welcome back to me, myself, and I playing the Darkest Dungeon. This is actually the fourth episode I've recorded in a row because I'm really enjoying playing it, but I think I'm going to have to stop, not because I want to go to bed, which I do, but mostly because I want to see what people have to say about the things that I've been doing so far, see if there's any advice that people have for me, see if there's any way that I'm playing their characters wrong, they'd like me to respec or anything like that. Um, but, that being said, since I haven't even uploaded the first of these episodes yet, I've not had the opportunity to ask people about them or give them the opportunity to give me some feedback. So instead I'm just going to plough ahead like a steam train and hope that I'm not doing anything hugely wrongly. Nobody's died yet. Look, oh, not even me or, not even Pete. You know what Pete's like. We need deeds. Because I want to upgrade the stagecoach so I can have a bigger roster, so I can take some of the interesting characters that can make some some of the more entertaining runs. Last episode, we decided that we would go for a very DPS heavy run, which probably will involve um, transforming Viz. It's say as human, so I guess it counts as human. Feeling alright there? We can switch out of it. What colour do you want to be? Apparently the Hellion's outfits also include the tattoos. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, who's this? Doug. Let me know which uh, which tattoos you like. I was thinking of colour coding people, but it seems like they don't really have... I mean, number one seems to be basically the same colour for everybody. No, you see. Uh, number two, I mean. Well, you're number three, so... <laughs> yeah. The colours aren't the same. I mean, the numbers are the same. But, okay. We've got Pete at the back. Uh, with Emboldening Vapours and Battlefield Medicine. Where should we go? Let's decide that first. We could go back to the Weald, because we do need those. This is a medium mission, which is going to be interesting, because I've not done that before. Infection spreads unless checked. Put a tourniquet on the festering wood by destroying any creature you encounter. So this is going to take up some of our um, inventory space by providing us with stuff to do along the way. We have to cleanse it. But it is the wield, which means we really need Pete to have this. Because we did the wield in the last episode, but we're doing the wield to get the deeds. Mr. Deeds. Uh, but we're not really using emboldening vapours. We should definitely... Uh, I kind of want to unlock Incision because it's one of the few bleeds that we're going to be able to have. I'll tell you what, we'll embolden... We can use emboldening vapours on uh, on Doug. On Viva Phonics here. And that will allow us to use the bleed skill. I think maybe we should get this bleed skill. Uh, it's only from the first one. Against the first one. And it's not very accurate. Well, it's about as accurate as everything else this character can do. Uh, okay, let's go back here to the guild. We'll put put Doug in the guild and we'll unlock Bleed Out. We've got a lot of money, that's fine. But we can't really, you know, improve anybody. I mean, I don't think even we can... Oh, let's, um... Let's spend some cash here. Dutch. I mean, we're keeping all these people around. Uh, and Pete's already been upgraded, I think. Yeah. We're keeping everybody around. It's not like we're going to be dismissing anybody out of hand and the worst that's going to happen is they'll die but I think investing in people so that they don't die is better than investing like not investing in them at all makes sense um, right we'll turn off I guess Iron Swan we don't really use it can hit the back but self debuff That's a good stun. We've got two... Two bleeds thingies. A stun and a, a bat in the face. These are all... They are what they are, basically. We might be considering transforming a few times. Uh, Dutch has the battlefield bandage, which will... You know, in increase the heals over time. And then a few sort of DPS-type things at the back. And... Pete... Your role will be slightly less than ideal because the plague, the blight 
is there's a lot of blight resist in the wield, but that's okay. We're going to be using your battlefield medicine a lot. And the emboldening vapor is basically the rest of the time. And then we've got a stun for the back two if we need it, so that's good. So we'll see how a medium mission works. That's going to be new to us. This quest involved camping, blah, blah, blah. Pause the video if you want to read that. Actually, we don't have to carry anything. So the tourniquets it was talking about apparently are not things. So we need a couple of these. Let's take four. Let's take three of these. We don't really need the anti-venom, but to collect things from along the path. Uh, we'll take plenty of this, but we'll also take a bit of medicinal herbs. I think we'll take one. We really want to make sure that we're well prepared for this. So, we're going to camp at some point. Now, camping will consume at least four food, but we can make it consume eight food to get a lot of stress relief. I think that's worthwhile. And also to avoid stress, we want to take as many shovels as we think we're going to need. Because it's a medium mission, there's a lot greater chance of there being... No. Thank you for telling me. Unfortunately, all the money comes back. <laughs> Uh, that's very valuable for having for saying that. Let's see. Sort by class restriction. Hmm. Bleed skill chance. I think we want, but we don't want to get the dodge too low. Maybe this. Yeah, that seems good. I don't really care that um that they'll be slower. That they'll go last or later. Mostly what I care about is them not dying. <laughs> as long as they don't die, that's fine. Uh, I don't really know what I want to give Viz, so I won't. <laughs> Nothing, basically. This is probably helpful for you because you're the main source of healing for now. So I will give you stun resistance as well. You had zero dodge, now you still have zero dodge, so what the hell ever. We don't have uh, Plague Doctor Trinket. That's interesting. We don't have any of these on the thing, so... I guess you can have this. There you go. Max HP, I think, is... Yeah, it's red because of that problem. That uh, quirk there. Where's our provision? There we go. Right, where were we? Three of those. Another one of those. Another three of those. One of those. Two of those. Two stacks of these. And a stack and a half of this. Yeah, a stack and a half. Plenty of cash left at the end of it if we don't make it back. If you abandon the quest, which you can do, you don't take any negative penalties except for a huge amount of stress. So if you've decided that you want to keep your A-team alive, you can bring back everything that you've got, suffer a lot of stress, and then... Corruption has soaked the soil, this is the worst thing. All good uh, from these groves. And Let then... Burn out this evil. Just put them all in for stress recovery, basically. Well, we've got a trap straight away. That's probably good a chance as any, right? We also have a curio, which is going to be this. We don't have anyone stealing things from us. The sack is empty, which is basically as bad as stealing things from us. Oh, complete 100% of rune battles. Maybe I was completely off-put by the blurb of the purpose of the cleanse. There is uh, a type of mission. Oh dear. Right, stun this. Can bleed it. Can't hack it. We can stun those two. Or we can debuff ourselves to help that out. Like, debuffing ourselves is basically when there's only one thing left, or if you think that we're going to be doing something else. Uh, especially with the 20% damage, the minus 15 dodge is the worst part of that, so we won't be doing that yet. Uh, but I think what we will be doing is if it bleeds in this. That's a lot of damage. It's got a bleed of 2 damage per round, so that's not dead yet, but... We need to take it down to 2, which means we need to hit it for 7. We can embolden somebody who hasn't been yet. We can try and blight something with 80% blight resist. Yeah, we definitely want to buff ourselves. Probably this. Reason being, this attack here not only gets to stun, but has a, well, high end of 7 apparently. 
Plus 25% damage for two rounds, so... Well, <laughs> at least it stunned it, right? So now we get another two points of damage on the next round, so we only need to hit that for one. So we can probably do it on the way past, sort of thing. Does this do... It doesn't do any damage, which is annoying. But we can suppressing fire those two. We can sniper shot one of them. We can heal for how much? Two to three. It's basically what we need. We should keep on top of this blight, I think. That's a difficult situation, because I could have done some damage against these. But we haven't got the opportunity to get rid of this blight yet. Yeah, and it's going to happen first, which is very annoying. Uh... That does blight, which is not what we want. We can transform and give everyone some stress. Which increases our damage. But I th don't think it takes our go. So we actually get to use one of the other skills, which I think we will do. Okay, so much for 10 stress. Yo, chill out. It's only Fizz. That's a... Where did you get all that from? Whatever. So this is a knockback of two to any of those. That one stacks itself. I think. Not sure. And this is just rage, straight up damage. 5 to 9. 28 HP! You fucking what? Uh, 3 to 5. Wow, we need to get rid of these things. Let's uh, shuffle them around. That helps. Then we can that on you. I mean, the toss-up is between whether you try to stop things like that from happening and, um, you know, just wail away on them and try and DPS them to death. Why are you there? Because of you. I didn't realise that, uh, shifted you forwards. That's okay. Like, you could wail away on them. Does this do any damage at all? No. And try and get rid of them. Or you try and keep up with them. You both resisted the stun, which is outrageous. Fuck it. <laughs> Debuff that one, get rid of that one. Harmless swipe. True story. Yeah, we're dodging really well. It could be because of this. No, it's not. Right, so that's gone. That was a lot of stress happening there. We need to... When we camp, we will be able to get rid of some of this stress, but at this stage, it's not ideal. Also, we do take stress each round whilst we're uh, like this. So, right, yeah, so that actually buffs our damage for Rake, not debuffing it, which is what I was afraid of it doing, but... Uh, I think it's only Viz that takes the, um, the stress damage on each round from now on, though, so... I guess we just keep trying to keep these things out of the game. Yes! That's what we want to see. Good. Right. We will mark this one. And try not to accidentally reorder them. And try not to accidentally reuse the mark on the next round. I mean, the blight resist on these is 80%, which isn't going to help us at all. No one's got any... Are you emboldened? Maybe. Plus 3 speed, 25% damage. Don't know if we can stack that. So I'll put some vapors on you. Don't think you can resist a buff. Yeah, 10, 10, uh, 10 per round. I'm thinking maybe we tank this once. Uh, that didn't even appreciably improve our damage. I'd like to move forwards at some point. Right, use the thing. Shoot the thing. Still going to take a lot of time to kill these things. Because we can't blight them. Our only real option is... Um, that they keep missing. That's very valuable. Right, transform back. Enough of that. Our only option is to keep hitting them or to bleed them. You can... Um, move now, I guess. <laughs> Coward! I don't know whether this stacks, so I'm not going to use it. What I'm going to do is... Try to Blight one? Uh, an 8% odds? Oh, it fucking worked. So you've got 4 damage per round, but you have 6. I guess we... 
three points around for three rounds. That uh, bleed out may not be as good as I thought it was going to be. Because it's going to take three rounds to bleed it out, right? So unless you've got a lot of bleed on it already, or a lot of dot on it already. How long does the... Um, can't really snipe shot the one I want to snipe shot, unfortunately. You can't hit anything <laughs> at the front, so that's no good. In which case, I will do this. Uh, I wonder how long the debuff lasts when you use bleed out. Because you might be able to use it and then sort of tank a couple of rounds until it's gone away. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll uh, medicine you, I suppose, since you just got blighted. And de it, which is very good because then it happens just before that. Let's see. It just says minus 20% damage. It doesn't say how long for, which is. I guess we try it. We've got to learn about it, is what I'm suggesting. Yeah, let's uh, heal ourselves with some stress more than the uh, the HP there. And we'll heal you. Only thing you can do because you can't hit that, which is no fucking good at all. Miss? No. No missing for you. Stun? No. You blighted again, so we'll unblight you again. Yet to take blight damage, which is good. So we'll uh, we'll do this. Which actually does six damage, which is great. Three rounds, okay. So it's the same amount of time as the bleed out, but it doesn't do a lot it does do a lot of damage as well, so there's there's that. T for torch. Yeah. I've yet to have anything go wrong with these dead bodies that I've been pulling apart for Oh shit, what is this? Right, you're probably a healer. <coughs> Excuse me, what? Marked. So you're gonna attack a marked thing. Right, so I'm thinking if you lose damage and dodge, then we should do things that don't do damage. Right? I mean, we're not going to do that right now, but we can hit that with that. That might be worth doing. Or we could just hack at this, which has got 102 fucking HP. So that's probably a good... Christ, bad start, yo. How's your blight resist? It's 80% as well. This is going to be a difficult fight. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. Uh, this hits both of them. Which is worthwhile. And then you... Trying to stun this? I mean, it has a high stun resist, but it's lower than its blight resist. Right, we can actually attack you with the sniper thingy, so we will. Confusion spores. I was probably going to shuffle us around. A squeak in my voice there is because I have recently entered puberty. Shit. <laughs> How far back can you go? This is no good. We didn't think this through at all. We're going to have to transform. <laughs> There's no choice. If we make it out of this. Move resist 95%. Damage 8 to 15. Or a crit for 21. That's very good. Right, you're definitely going to have to move. You can't move very far, unfortunately. That's fine. That's actually very fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. You can actually do stuff from the back. Which is fabulous. Reign of Blight. Rut row. I hope you can do what I want you to do from that position. <laughs> oh, you fucking can't. You need to be at the back. Well, here we go then. This is going to go all horribly wrong. We can abandon this quest if we wanted to. Duchess resolve is tested. Hopeless. Well, that's not a... <laughs> that's not a virtue at all. No hope at all. Not a virtue at all. Afflicted. Well, we're going to have to send Dutch for treatment. This... This uh, this went south. I'll be quite honest with you. This went south very fast. We 
we need to move backwards somehow, but we, we can't. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep, um... I guess we'll just keep raising against this particular machine. This will be a great time to have a... I think we have to keep moving because Pete's ability to heal these uh, these blights is very valuable. Although, at this stage, I think I'll just heal it myself. <laughs> Where did my um, mark go? It also debuffs them. It's pretty nice. Oh, I'm marked. Oh, shit. <laughs> this ain't going well. Ten stress. Time to de-stress, I think. That's fine. It does heal us as well. That's really good. And we'll move you back. And then we've got our Hellion in position. We can... Heal the Hellion. For a crit. Which is good. Cure the Blight. Hope for the best. This is going to stress us out again. If we can get through this without stressing everybody out, then we can camp and get rid of a lot of the stress, hopefully. Just stun resist, 70%. Your bleed resist is 40%. Christ, let's, uh, let's try this one. It's the strongest bleed we've got, and it does do 40 damage. So it debuffs us. I guess we just have to deal with it, right? Oh, here we go again. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Good fucking lord. That is very valuable. Indeed. If they uh, get to double stress, by the way, 200 stress, they have a heart attack. <laughs> so let's try not to let that happen. Uh, we need to move, but we also kind of need to... Like, embolden this? It's the best I've got at the moment. Once this thing's down, I think we'll be okay. But we can't even consider concentrating on these two until that's out of the way. Oh, here goes Doug. Paranoid. The walls close in. So these can take away control. Uh, which is a problem. A big problem. 4, 7, 13. But it can stun. I think it's worth trying. I didn't fucking stun. <laughs> oh, but you have got this 3 damage per round bleed. I have to move you. It's the only option we have. Or miss a turn, I guess. It's going to send you backwards. And that death door, but that's okay. He can heal himself. Alright, chill out. Irrational. So I might not be able to heal himself because... Oh, but we have to... We have to kill it. We have to make sure Viz doesn't die. We have to make sure Viz doesn't die. No, we can still kill this thing, and it's got, what, 4 HP? It's one hit away from death. It just has to not go first. Pardon? <laughs> what, what did you do? I think we just hit it. Because we can heal ourselves. We've got... If it's going to do that again, that's a bad idea, but... Just, just get rid of it. We can't suffer it to have another hit. That's okay, that's a stress. We're already flipped out. We've already gone completely loco in the cocoa. Oh, so is everybody else. Pete, what are you going to do? You're focused. See, that was the virtue. That's what we want to see. Everyone gets a bit of stress heal from that, which is brilliant. Look how... Yeah. It'll last until we camp. <laughs> okay. So we get stat bonuses, but... We're back down to 41 stress. Everyone else is still flipping out. Uh, I guess we... Like, you can't really do much except for bleed the back one, so... I'm going to put an emboldening vapors down on you. Who won't fucking take it? Okay, try again. Alright, we'll move. I literally won't take it at all. Any amount of buffs at this stage is extremely useful. Yeah, these can only do... Well, if it bleeds, it can be killed. We'll just stack up the bleeds on that thing and then hope to... Fuck me. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Yeah, that's all going to go horribly wrong if we're not careful. So we need to heal you again. 
good thing I, uh, good thing you didn't accept the, the buff, because <laughs> we've been useless. Shit the fucking bed. What are we going to do here? We could abandon the mission, but then they'll probably have a heart attack just from leaving. This is an outrageously difficult fight. It's not even a boss. Oh my fucking god. We can retreat. We might have to. <laughs> we literally might have to just give up on this. Ow. Six. Set the stage for heroism or cowardice. We're gonna have to go, because if you die, wise general cuts losses and regroups. We can have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Right, let's uh, let's move. Wait, where are you supposed to be? There. That's right. Okay. And then you go there. For fuck's sake, just do it. <laughs> uh, you know what? Eat some food. And then... No! Don't fucking go in there! I didn't want to click on that. I want to... Fucking leave. <laughs> the the point there... Was not to click on that door. I want to click on this. Oh, fuck it. We're leaving. At the very precipice. <laughs> Everyone's having a heart attack. Just leave. Jesus Christ. Wounds to be tended. Lessons to be learned. What is happening? Well, we got some heirlooms. Three fucking deeds. Did anybody die as a result? No. You don't die from a heart attack running away, so that's fine. This has got a torn rotator cuff, which is true. Usually. Well, that was a disaster, but it wasn't the worst disaster, apart from the fact we accidentally went back into combat because I was trying to click on a person. But in fact, it clicked on the door. <laughs> we did get some stuff. Not very much stuff. Uh, that was a level 3, apparently. Oh, I completely missed that. Apparently I went on a level 3 mission thinking it was a level 1 mission. Uh, so I <laughs> just fucking guess we just fucking pay for everybody to get fixed. That was a uh, level 1 people. A little hope, however desperate, Excuse is me. never without work. Level 1 people on a level 3 mission doesn't work as you might uh, anticipate. This is a... Uh, got no portraits. But everyone's going to have to go in, so we'll do the cheapest we can, I suppose. <laughs> that was a disaster. Thank you for watching, and remind me next time to actually check the level of the mission. Look, it's a fucking level three. I didn't even notice. I just wanted to do a medium mission, right? I wanted to do a wheeled mission, but there's only one. Well, I guess next time we'll do something else that doesn't nearly kill everybody we have. Uh, but until then... Do remember to leave comments and likes and subscribes and things like that. You know, tell people that you're in a game. You know, this is this is a top level of Hollywood right here. There's no greater prestige than being in this game right now. So you should brag to everybody that you are. Uh, but maybe next time we'll do something slightly better with your namesakes. Uh, I can't promise, but I will try. So until then, do take care.